you might have heard about the word carbon budget. If not, then allow me to explain. If we want to limit the rise of average global temperature to 1.5 degrees, we can only emit a limited amount of CO2 that is carbon dioxide. This is carbon budget. Countries are trying to cut their carbon emission with the same budgeting techniques that households use to control their spendings. Instead of balancing income against outgoings, environmental planners are doing it with carbon dioxide emissions that cause global warming. This is carbon budgeting. We know that greenhouse gas emissions caused by human activities from energy to transportation, industry to farming are speeding up global warming at a rate that threatens our planet's natural balance as we have known it to be. But when exactly will we cross the line? The European Union and US have promised to reach carbon neutrality by 2050 and China by 2060. But while we wait for this historical transition to take place, how much CO2 can we still emit into the atmosphere without unalterably compromising our future climate? To answer all these questions, experts have devised an ad hoc indicator known as carbon budget. What does carbon budget mean? A carbon budget is the amount of CO2 that humanity can emit while still having a chance to contain global warming within 1.5 degrees centigrade compared to pre-industrial levels as advocated in the Paris Agreement. In reality, our planet can count on certain natural carbon sinks, forests and oceans but even these can no longer keep up with the rate at which we are pouring greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Specifically, according to the data from the Global Carbon Project, in the decade between 2010 and 2019, terrestrial ecosystems absorb 12.5 gigatons of CO2 per year and oceans absorb 9.2 gigatons only. Now the question is, how do carbon budgets work? Carbon budgets measure how much CO2 is produced by industry, homes and all other parts of the economy to calculate by how much emissions must be cut in the future. The aim is to reach net zero emissions striking an equal balance between the carbon released into the atmosphere and that removed from it. But with carbon building up quickly, countries are having to redraw their budgets more often than hoped. How much carbon dioxide can we emit? Scientists have made different calculations to work how much a carbon budget humanity still has at its disposal. The Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change stated that at the end of 2017, let's say, we had a budget of not more than 420 gigatons of CO2. If we want to stay within 1.5 degrees of warming, that is 42 gigatons per year. Now, what are the challenges to reach all these points. However, the Global Carbon Project found that lowering carbon emissions at the speed necessary to reach that goal is providing to be a challenge. In its most current report, Mitigation of Climate Change, the United Nations Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change said that there is an urgent need to quicken the pace of decarbonization. The IPCC said Emissions must peak by 2025 and cut by 43% by 2030. Carbon budgets help limit global warming because they link the rate of emissions to the additional rise in temperature and can offer a stepped approach to reaching climate targets. Also, they help gauge the effectiveness of greenhouse gas reduction measures such as using renewable energy sources and take account of mitigation factors like carbon capture initiatives or reforestation schemes. It is now or never if we want to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees. That's all today's session. See you soon.